Hey guys, I started Montenegro and that's where I actually started hitchhiking all the way. I stopped taking any buses, I stopped taking any trains, and in Montenegro, um, up to Bosnia, over to Croatia, over to Slovenia, over to Italy. Um, actually, I started in Albania. So I started in Albania, made it across the border into Montenegro, and then I went over to um, Bosnia, Croatia, uh, Slovenia, Italy, and now I'm working up my way to Austria. Sorry if I'm a little tired, but I'm working my way up to Austria, and if I get up to Austria, then I'm going to this little country. I'll put the name on the screen. I can't pronounce it. I can't read it very well. It's some weird little country in between Austria and Switzerland. I never heard of it before. I never knew of it. Maybe I've seen it on the map before, but... Anyways, I'm going there. I'm going to try to get there today. Yesterday was really good because they made it across um, the rest of Croatia uh, at the top, and then I made it through part of Slovenia, and then I made it over into Italy. The day before that, I got really lucky, and I got a ride for five hours. These two really cool uh, girls, they um, were going up, up north, and they picked up me and a few other hitchhikers, and they ended up, we ended up hanging out for about two days. It was a lot of fun. They're really nice. Um, they were going up to a concert, and then after the concert, we all ended up camping out, and then they went they took me to one more place, and then, uh, and then they dropped me up up north, and then I made my way. But this morning, I'm gonna try to get as far as I can go. Sorry if that's not clear, concise, or anything, but that's uh, that's what's going on. That's what I'm doing, and hopefully, you guys enjoy. Like this video, subscribe, and uh, check out the next videos of my hitchhiking journey. All right, guys, peace out, and as. If you can hear me too well but um, I'm still in Italy but I found this beautiful place in the mountains with all these streams I was actually hitchhiking on this road over here and I stopped hitchhiking once I saw the water because I wanted to jump in wash my clothes clean up a little bit um, dry off just go swimming I really wanted to go swimming in fresh water and this place is beautiful there's like it looks like one two three four you can't see them over there too well but there is a, a bunch of streams that all connect, I'm sure, in the raining season or after the winter. It gets much, much deeper and it's more of a river than a bunch of streams. I'm sure they still consider it a uh, river. This might be the Dun, I'll put it on the screen if I can if I can find the name of what river or streams this are, but um, these are, but it's super beautiful, really relaxing. And yeah, I would definitely recommend coming to Northern Italy. Northern Italy is so beautiful. I mean, look at all these mountains. Look at all this stuff and great place to go camping. Um, I've had a lot of good luck hitchhiking out here. Um, the people seem really friendly. Even if they don't speak English, they'll still try and talk to you. And um, yeah, if you, if you have a chance, definitely come to Italy and definitely do some hitchhiking.